Hello, Cedar Creek. This is Ms. Exodactylus. I'm here from the guidance department talking to you a little bit today about dual credit programs that are available to you this school year. Um, so if you are sitting in a class and they have put this presentation on or you uh, were emailed this presentation from your guidance counselor, uh, that means you are sitting in a class that you are eligible for dual credit. And I'm going to talk to you what that means. So what is dual credit um, and how does it affect you? So dual credit, which we also call dual enrollment. So you might hear me uh, refer to those uh, terms interchangeably basically means dual, which is two, means you can earn both high school credit as well as college credit at the same time uh, simultaneously while you're in high school. Um, so you can walk out of Cedar Creek with some college credits under your belt. Uh, it's cost effective. Um, you'll have the chance to challenge yourself with rigorous courses and get yourself ready for college level work at the same time saving time and money by entering college with some credits already completed, which could shorten your time it takes to actually graduate from college, which is pretty awesome. So if that sounds like something that you want to learn more about, please listen up. So Cedar Creek offers dual credit through four different uh, colleges and universities. We have four partnerships. You see them listed here, Stockton University, Atlanta Cape Community College, Rowan College of Burlington County, or Seton Hall University. So you will see um, in this presentation, when you have it in your Google Drive, you'll be able to click on those links and they will bring you to the printed um, registration information for each of four of the colleges and universities. So this information was also posted in your Google Classroom and sent to each parent or guardian of a student who is enrolled in one of the courses that you have the option to do this dual credit program through. So when you are home or your parent or guardian is asking for the paperwork, you can click on any of these links and it will bring you to the dual credit registration forms for each of the four universities or colleges. So. There um, is a list of school of colleges, list of courses for Stock University that are available through dual credit. So you'll see the list on the left um, of the courses that you can take here at Cedar Creek that have the option to apply for dual credit through Stockton University. You'll also see the credits listed to the right of that, your Cedar Creek teacher, as well as the Stockton course equivalent. Um, so the course that you would get credit for at the college level uh, if you participate in this dual credit program. So again, you'll see the list of 13 uh, dual credit courses offered through Stockton University. Again, you'd be sitting in your Cedar Creek class being taught by your Cedar Creek teacher, um, but you have the option to pay a reduced tuition rate and earn college credit at the end of the school year. So I said, uh, again, a reduced tuition payment. So you will see here, um, Stockton University offers a reduced rate of $100 per credit. Um, which equals about $400 for a four credit course, which you'll see most of the courses that are offered for dual credit are a four credit course. Also, if a student is eligible for free or reduced lunch through the federal program, which means your parent or guardian would have to fill out that free application for uh, lunch, which is found on our website, if you are eligible for free or reduced lunch, Stockton will completely waive the tuition for those students, which means you would be taking a dual credit course that gets you college credit uh, for completely free. So that same course at Stockton will cost you $1,600 when you get to, um, once you graduated high school and you get onto the college campus. So you will see that's a really significant um, cost savings there for those students, even for the students who are paying the $400 for a full, for the four credit course, you'll see that it's a significant uh, cost benefit from the $1,600 uh, course that you would pay full price. So if that's something that you're interested in, you want to take advantage of it, or you just want to uh, maybe go home and talk to your parent or guardian about this opportunity, um, here are some of the deadlines and tasks you want to be aware of uh, so that you get this done if it's something that you think is a, is a good opportunity for you. So by Monday, October 25th, you will be completing the application for dual credit online through Stockton's portal. So all of this registration and payment for all of these programs are going to be done through the college, um, through the college's website, and payments will be made through the college. Nothing gets paid directly to Cedar Creek. Um, so that's just a rule of thumb. So again, Monday, October 25th, you'll fill out the online application uh, for Stockton University's dual credit. Tuition will be due Friday, October 29th. Please, again, do not bring your payment to Cedar Creek. Tuition um, will be waived for those students who are eligible for free or reduced lunch. And uh, Stockton also will offer payment plans if needed, and the number would be listed there. Again, you'll be making your payments through the Go Stockton portal, which is listed. 
at the end of the school year in July, you'll be able to request your official transcript from Stockton University, which will show the courses that you earned credit for as well as your final grade. So that's another key thing to remember, whatever grade you earn in these dual credit courses will be the grade that ends up on your college transcript. And for many of you, it'll be the first college class you take, um, which will definitely affect your GPA. So you wanna make sure that you're be mindful of uh, enrolling in classes that you believe you'll be successful in. So Atlantic Cape Community College also offers many uh, dual credit courses uh, for students at Cedar Creek. And you'll see there's actually two slides worth of courses here. You'll see the course on the left, again, the credits to the right of that, your Cedar Creek High School teacher, and then the ACCC equivalent college course that you could earn credit for. Again, this is an extensive list. You'll see if you are enrolled in any of the courses that are listed on the left, you have the potential to earn dual credit through Atlanta Cape Community College for the courses listed to the right. Again, another cost benefit, the cost per credit is $59.50, um, which is reduced. Uh, it would be three credit course would be $177.90 and a four credit course would be $237.20. So if you were to wait and take these courses at ACCC after um, high school, you would be charged about $600 plus fees for each course. So again, you're getting a significant um, tuition reduction. In addition, you may have seen throughout the community, ACCC is offering three credits for free uh, through dual enrollment. So if you are in a course that's eligible for dual enrollment, um, your first three credits would be free, um, which is a pretty amazing opportunity. Um, you don't see much free in this world. So when you have it, you definitely want to take advantage of it. So our um, deadlines for ACCC that you want to be aware of, uh, Friday, October 15th, you will complete the application for dual credit online, which is linked here. And you want to be sure you select the high school application. Uh, you don't want to select anything other than the high school application. After that, you will receive an acceptance letter with your ACCC student ID, login credentials, and other important information that you must review. You will also receive the email instructions how, how to make your payment. Again, please do not bring your payments to Cedar Creek. The payments will be made directly to the college online. After you've completed the application online, you're going to want to go in and complete this registration form, which is linked here, and bring that to your guidance counselor no later than Friday, October 29th. Please do not send this form to ACC. We will be collecting these in the Cedar Creek Guidance Department and sending them over uh, in bulk to ACCC. And then finally, again, in, in July, you'll be able to request your final transcript from ACCC showing the courses uh, that you've earned college credit for, as well as your final grade. Um, Rowan College of Burlington County, which is our third partnership, offers dual credit for five different um, courses here at Cedar Creek. You'll see the courses to the left, the credit requirement on your right, your Cedar Creek teacher, as well as the RCBC equivalent course that you will earn uh, college credit for if you choose to partake in the Rowan College of Burlington County dual credit program. Uh, Rowan College of Burlington County offer also has a reduced tuition. Um, so a three to four credit course will cost $150. That same three to four credit course for students who are eligible for free or reduced lunch will cost $100. Um, a five to eight credit course will cost $300. And for a free or reduced lunch student, it will cost $200. Um, in comparison to uh, what you would pay after high school if you were to enroll at RCBC, um, most courses are upwards of $700 plus fees. So again, a significant cost uh, savings. If that's something that you want to consider, um, please be mindful of these dates. Um, the RCBC deadlines are coming up soon. So Tuesday, September 28th, you must complete your uh, registration using the online registration portal, which is linked there. You will then be able to um, complete the final steps, which are steps one, two, and three, uh, student forms, high school approval, and parent forms. So all of those will need to be completed um, by Friday, October 29th. Um, and then by Monday, November 1st, online payment will be due, and that will be made directly through the RCBC dual enrollment portal. Uh, you will be receiving an email from RCBC with those instructions. Again, please do not bring your payment to Cedar Creek. Um, those payments get paid directly to the college again. And finally, uh, for students who are enrolled in German 3 or 4 this year, um, so in Mr. Free's uh, German 3 and 4 class, you have the opportunity to apply for dual credit or dual enrollment credits through Seton Hall University. 
Um, Seton Hall has a deadline of October 13th that you must complete the undergraduate um, application for dual credit, which is linked there. And the deadline for payment is the same. Well, you're going to register and make your payment all in one shot here for Seton Hall. And that will be on Wednesday, October 13th. Again, please do not bring your payment to Cedar Creek. Um, those payments get paid directly to Seton Hall University. Um, and it's a big cost savings for Seton Hall. So that three to four credit course is going to cost our Cedar Creek students $300. That same course, if you were to take it at Seton Hall, once you've graduated, will cost $4,000. So that's a really big, um, a really big cost benefit. I know there's a lot of information. I hope this information finds you well. I hope you uh, take the information and any questions that you have, you reach out to your guidance counselor because again, they will be the expert and the point of contact throughout this process. Uh, thank you guys and have a great day.